it is good that you have found time to watch this video. In this video, we want to look at the difference between mass and weight. Thereafter, we'll look at the relationship between mass and weight. As you'll be watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that is Zuluga Consultants, and the Facebook page, Zuluga Consultants, for this and more videos. So let us start by looking at mass. What is mass? Well, mass is defined as the quantity of matter in a substance. So how much matter that substance has, that's what we call mass. So again, the quantity of matter in a substance that is defined as mass. What else do we need to know about mass? Well, regardless of where the object is, the mass is the same everywhere. So if you are or you have the mass of 10 kg, even when you change the location, you will have the same mass of 10 kg. So the mass does not change anywhere regardless of the location where you are. The SI unit for mass is kilograms, which is abbreviated as kg. So every time you find kg on a product, it could be on a packet of sugar, go and buy 2 kg sugar, go and buy 25 kg of wheat, go and get a 25 kg of salt. The kg is helping you to know that this is the mass that has been measured. So mass is measured in kilograms that is kg. That is the SI unit or the standard unit for uh, mass. We have other units such as grams. They can also be used to measure mass, but the standard unit is uh, kilograms. The instrument used to measure mass is a beam balance and in the modern technology we are now even using the electronic beam balances. So electronic beam balance or just a beam balance is the instrument used to measure mass. Now how does the beam balance works? The beam balance will always have a known mass and the measured mass. So if the non-mass balances with the measured mass, then we get the reading of the measured mass. So again, the instrument used to measure mass is a beam balance, and this time we also have the electronic balance. Let's look at weight. What do we need to know about weight? Well, weight is defined as the attractive force exerted on an object by gravity. So this is attractive force exerted on an object by gravity. So this simply means this object should be freely to move. It should be influenced by gravity for us to get the exact weight of that object. So this simply means the weight of an object varies from place to place. Why is this so? This is simply because the gravity of a place differs. For example, the gravity of the Earth is different to the gravity of the moon. So because gravity on Earth is different from gravity from the moon, you will notice that the weight on Earth should be different from the weight on the moon. The unit we use to measure weight is in Newton. So that is the SI unit for weight and its symbol is N. So that's the unit we use to measure weight. The instrument used to 
measure weight is the spring balance and we also use the bathroom scale to get the weight of an object. So even the bathroom scale gets the weight of an object. So remember, the instrument used to measure weight is the spring balance or the bathroom scale. So this is how the spring balance looks like. Uh, it will always have a spring. How that spring is stretched, it is how heavy or how the weight of that object is. So the pointer on the spring balance will always tell us how the weight of that object is. So from this, can you see the difference between mass and weight? The first thing is mass is defined as the quantity of matter in an object, while weight is the attractive force exerted on an object. Mass of an object is the same from place to place, it's the same everywhere, while weight varies from place to place. The SI unit for mass, we have seen that it is kilograms, while the SI unit for weight is newton. Last but not the least, we have looked at the instruments used to measure mass. The instrument used to measure mass is the beam balance or the electronic balance. The instrument used to measure weight is the spring balance or the bathroom scale. Let us now look at the relationship between mass and weight. Is that the weight of an object is direct proportion to its mass. So this is given by the formula where we say weight is equal to m times g, where w, which is weight, which is measured in newtons, m, it is mass, which is measured in kg, and g is the acceleration due to gravity, which is measured in meters per second squared. So in this video, what have we looked at? We have seen how to define mass, how to define weight. We have also looked at the difference between mass and weight. Last but not the least, we have looked at the relationship between mass and weight. Hope you have found this video beneficial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the Facebook page that is Zuluva Consultants.